back to with yet another DJ's Brew 2 beer review. We're back in action again. That's, what, three weekends in a row or something they let us drink? Is that three? I don't know. No, two and a half. Two and a half, but it doesn't matter because we're <clears throat> drinking again. That's We're getting alcohol in our system. No, a actually, we're going to seriously review and savor the taste of this lovely beer, right? Sure. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, yeah. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm down a drink tonight. Okay, open. So... <laughs> What beer do we have tonight, John? Uh, the Harry Eyeball L from Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Pechaluma, California. It is an American strong ale and brewed from like November time. That would be fall mostly, even though it says winter. Yeah, they started, they put it out in November, but they call it a winter season. It's fall. Come on. Just because it's warm out there in California, IA. Damn bastards. It's freezing <laughs> ass and snow on the ground here. Exactly. Yeah, we're sitting at 9.4 ABV. We had 9.0 previously. I guess they jacked it up a little bit with some uh, more crystal malt, dark crystal malts, which you get that color from. Mm -hmm. Our IBUs are 56.66, so it's devilish beer, Paul. Yes, uh, 666. Yeah. I must go to the dungeon. Paul had a video I watched today of him brewing a beer in a pumpkin. Was he in the pumpkin? No, but I... <laughs> There's one for you. Brew a beer while you're in a pumpkin. Hey, you know, I'm worried, though, because I knew it was in the dungeon, and whatever it was pouring in the pumpkin was really dark colored, and I, I'm thinking that the pumpkin's probably going to, like, sprout arms and kill someone one day. Plus, he found the snake in the, in, the, in the basement while he was making the video. Anyway, shout out to you, Paul. You know we love you, baby. Um, let's see. Okay, so... This beer, one awesome thing about it before we start, it was four dollars and ninety nine cents. Or no, seventy nine cents plus tax. And That's you cheap to, as you hell. Get your glasses. Uh... Yeah, I know. So, it's a lovely brown color, really clear too. Wow, like a, what do you say, like chestnut color sort of. Yeah. Got some like gold and yellow hints coming through. Look at that. Like every lager we need to spear, man. Instant glass lacing, plenty of alcohol legs. We got about a quarter finger head on this nine point four percenter. I tell you that dark fruit. Wow, big. Like For an uncellared beer, too. Figs or something like that. Wow. Not raisins, but like figs or... Maybe some... a little plummy? Yeah, a little bit. A prune? Pruny. Pruny, yeah. Mm. A lot of malt, a lot of caramel and toffee. Wow. Unlike every other Lagunitas beer I put my nose in, it's not a hot bomb up in my grill. But, man, lovely smelling beer. Now he'll tell you what it tastes like. Cheers. Wow. That's good. Damn. It is. I mean, very malt front, and then the slowly you wow. get the little bit of the hops that comes behind. Like piney bitter, hops. like bitter eating piney. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> grapefruit. Yeah, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine. Um, That's but some... that malt up front is like candy. It's in the back end too, like really, yeah. like the middle, the bitter that Johnny's talking about is like in the middle, and then the back end's like that malt and caramel and toffee. This is like. This is definitely, without a doubt, and I think they mentioned this like their most malty seasonal beer. This is the most malty Lagunitas beer I've had. I've had their Imperial Stout even, and that's even hoppy. But that's interesting. Take a second sip now. Let's see. It's more hop forward this time. A little bit after you get over that initial, like, I... Now, there must be a boatload of sugar in this. Probably had to get, like, a diabetes check <laughs> after drinking this one. But that's a tasty-ass beer. It's not real complex. No. But it's straight up in your face, kind of like that toffee, burnt sugar, caramel taste with a nice bit of piney, grassy hops to round it out, sort of. Yeah. Hmm. I've tasted some people's what's supposed to be DIPAs like this, like some of the East Coast ones. Mm -hmm. But that's damn good. And for, with tax, would it be like $5.12 for a bomber mm -hmm. of nearly 10% beer? That's cheap nice. as hell. I wasn't expecting that maltiness. I mean, really... I mean, yeah, it's 9.4, but, you know, Lagunitas, I always tend to think of them, you know, one of those West Coast style, mm. you know, hoppiness, and it just gives a really, I, I like that flavor. There's a, there's this taste on my tongue, you get a little bit of hoppy, but you get this little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. that right now, dark fruit. Now, I'll cool. bet you, if you cellared this, it would be cloyingly sweet. Because it doesn't have real big hops in it. And I'll bet you if you sat on this too long, the hops, if they would die down, it would just be a complete sugar bomb. Because the hops that's in there now in the middle, that piney bitterness, is like, 
That's dead on, man. It, it really balances out the flavor. I I get I, I dig this beer. Really big cherry flavor right in the middle. Really, I'll, I'll get that boom and just like you know those little mm -hmm. squeezy things that you squeeze and fruit comes out. Or oh whatever. yeah, like the liquid, gummies or yeah, whatever yeah, sort of. They come like or like a liquid filled like yeah. maybe chocolate just yeah, with like I the. I get that. Mm -hmm. I I get like more than cherry. I get more of like a like a pruny in the middle. But everybody mm -hmm. gets a little bit something different. But I'm digging this beer, man. Yeah. I mean, for the cost and the big flavor it's bringing, it's like it's another. Uh, it's a good example. way to start off the night. Hell oh, yeah! Of course, we're starting off the night nearly with 10% ABV. But that's how we roll here at DJ's Brew too. Come on, my piss is higher ABV <laughs> than most beers out there. <laughs> Especially if, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, what did the other guys grade this one? Well, our buddies at Rate Beer gave it a big, has a nine in it. The other number is a five. 95 is mm -hmm. kind of surprising. Um, usually they only have like, what, 99, 100, and... 98, uh, sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. They have a couple, maybe four or five numbers. Anything two, over like 8% seems to be nearly uh, 100. Yeah. Um, Beer Advocate Dudes, they gave it 86. <clears throat> I'm, I, I'm going higher now. Um... I think this is better than 86. I'm, I'm gonna put it at 90 for me. I, I like this. I, I, you know, I'm gonna grade it about the same. I think I'm gonna give it a 91. You know, give or take a point. I like the mouth feel. It's there's a little bit of booziness in it, but not much. It's for 9.4 percent, and for it's not a real heavy beer. The the alcohol is really well masked also, and this isn't super cold. But no, uh -uh. I think it is. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, it came out of the car, and it is 20 out, but. <laughs> It's a really great beer, I think. I'm gonna give it 91, so it's like an A minus. But damn, for for 4.79 plus tax, I mean, shit. If this is like their winter line. Yeah. I like this. I mean, I've had I mean, a, it's for me, it's the best winter type beer I've had all the all year this year. Well, this year and last year. I mean, the win most winter <laughs> warmers. Let's face it, guys. Well, they what suck yeah i mean they're a spice bomb or there's some crappy attempt at an old ale or something but this i mean it's another lagunitas winter i haven't had a bad lagunitas beer yet have you not that i can think of i mean even their all day ipa or whatever no, it is it's founders what's what's the one <laughs> no daytime ipa or something like that whatever they're like and low abv beer geek see what that stunt drinker knows see that <laughs> that they're what is it is it daytime I don't know. I, I think I don't it's day know. Pine. It, but it's their low ABV IPA. It's the best one out there, I think. But anyways, guys, so we're both giving it A minus, and that's telling you how much Johnny likes it. Because it, remember, like in Arab countries, if you belch after you have a meal or a nice drink, oh, that's speaking a of Arab countries, take a look at the logo upside down. Oh wait, that's right side up. Kind of like the collar and all that looks like one of those Arab hats, and then there, right there, there's like a little <laughs> face. I was looking, and it's like, wow, that's a real funky logo. And then it's like, oh, the dog no, was Johnny hasn't down. been drinking yet. We just started. <laughs> it's like the dog was upset. But if you look the other way, it's like one of those Arab hats that you see in the movies. Exactly. Those are the crowns we have to obsessively collect, of course. I like the blue one. So, guys, if you can do me a big favor and think globally, drink locally, support the craft beer movement, and I'd send really us appreciate more it. Beer. Send us more beer. Hit the like button when you're down there and doing the comments. Click that stuff. And if you have rude comments for Johnny, give those. He likes those, don't you, Johnny? Yeah, I do, because I don't read them. That's right. So I don't, don't watch your videos. He doesn't actually. So the next time, every once in a while, if he, unless he if he wants to live vicariously through himself, he watches them for the day. So so the next time, guys. Thanks, man, for watching. Until then, that's what. Damn. Time to get another beer and a big ass peace out.